The city of Arroyo Grande is considering creating a new pedestrian zone in a busy part of the village. KSBY reporter Austin Herba has more on that proposal. Short Street certainly lives up to its name. It's only one block long, but prime real estate in the heart of the village. The Arroyo Grande City Council is now looking into closing it permanently to car traffic. The future of Short Street is up for debate at Tuesday night's Arroyo Grande City Council meeting. City officials say that all options are on the table. Those options range from reopening Short Street to creating a new pedestrian zone. The value to the city, should the council choose to do this, would be to create a more pedestrian-oriented downtown. These are conceptual designs of what the promenade could look like. You can see a walkway, lawn space, and stairs leading towards Centennial Plaza and the swinging bridge. It's going to be a Kind of like a new image for the village and nice little walkway for everyone to get around. Some nearby business owners are now hoping for more public space that brings the community together. Anything we can do to allow people to get together in that kind of format is a bonus right now. After the last couple of years of people growing apart, anything we can do to, you know, kind of create a space where people can get together, I think is a, is a good idea. Short Street was blocked off at the beginning of the pandemic to allow for expanded outdoor dining. The large tent used by Rooster Creek is now gone as the city looks ahead to what's next. There's some fear that losing the traffic flow of Short Street will hurt businesses. The city wants to address any concerns with the goal of making the village a nicer place to be. We would definitely want someone to come down to the village and uh, patronize one of our restaurants, but we also want them to stay. We want them to enjoy themselves. We want them to shop at our shops. We want them to experience our festivals. And this is all part of creating that vibe that we'd really like to have. Now the city council is receiving public input at tonight's meeting, which started at six. Reporting in a row, Grandy, Austin Herbaugh, KSBY News. It's important to note that Short Street could temporarily reopen to vehicles, even if the city votes to look into a permanent closure.